Hi guys, welcome back. I'm further to watch some new subbies. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a very, very simple um, yet nice Valentine's set. Now, what I like to start off with is I like to push back our cuticles. After I push back the cuticles, I buff the natural shine from the nail beds. And then I move on to applying my tips. I then shape them and cut them to de the desired length. And I also like to blend the nail tip with the natural nails. And that's just because it makes it easier for an application. So it just goes a lot smoother. So I bl blend the nail tip and then I proceed to applying my dehydrator. For the dehydrator, I like to use the Mia Secret Nail Prep. And I apply two coats of that and then I proceed to the primer. For the primer, I like to use the Young Nails Protein Bond and I apply two coats of that as well. And so after we're done prepping the nail, we're, we move on to applying a very thin layer of clear acrylic. And I like to do that when I am using dark pigments. And actually, sometimes I just use it in general, just because it's easier to um, do a change of design. You just file down to the clear acrylic and you proceed with your new design. So on the ring finger, we're applying a translucent pink at the cuticle area. And we're going to blend that only halfway towards the nail. We are going to be making an ombre kind of thing. And then we are going to be applying a little bit of uh, holographic glitter at the tip of the nail. And we're going to blend that towards uh, the middle of the nail. We do not want to go too far up just because we are trying to get an ombre look. So um, you just want to blend towards halfway up the nail. And you do want it, I mean, for this specific set, we wanted it a little bit more, not so on the heavy side of glitter, just because we are applying different colored of hearts. We are going to be applying some pink ones, uh, some iridescent pink ones, and some silver ones. So we didn't want it to be too busy. So we only up did a little bit of glitter and the hearts in three different colors. And then we're going to go ahead and encapsulate once we're done. And we're going to be doing the same thing on the middle finger.
Okay, now moving on to the index, we're going to be doing the same thing as we did to the pinky. And we're just using the cover pink from Mia's Secret. Uh, and we're going to apply that throughout the entire nail. You do want to make sure that you build it well enough because this, uh, the cover is usually you don't need to encapsulate because they are so, um, they're not as pigmented. And so it's okay to build with that. Uh, so I go ahead and build the entire nail, build my apex and everything, and um, we file. So we all, like I said, we don't really have to encapsulate this one. So just apply your cover rose, I mean, sorry, your cover pink or whatever nude color you have to the entire nail bed. And then that is all. Now our last step is to apply our um, top coat. I did omit the part where I file just because I do have a lot of it, videos where I have filed before and I show you. I will probably do a more recent one soon. But for now, we omitted the part where I filed. Um, and now we're moving on to the top coat. I am horrible at applying top coats, so I do have to go back in with a brush and make sure I clean around the skin. Make sure I have no top coat around the skin before curing. Alright, so now last but not least, we're applying our cuticle oil and that's just to replenish the, our skin, especially because we did use a lot of alcohol and um, hopefully we didn't get a lot of monomer on our skin, So, but if you did, make sure you try to avoid that as much as possible. So we are replenishing the skin with our cuticle oil and giving a very light massage. And that is it for now guys. Thanks for watching. So this is the final result here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys until next time. Bye.